Life is stressful, but if you have a camera, I have good news for you. Today, I will tell you about nine reasons why photography can be a stress relief, whether you're a hobbyist or a professional. These points can't always apply to paid and professional shootings. So if you want to make the best out of this video, think of a personal project. Develop a concept and craft an idea of what you would like to create. Don't copy others, express your inner voice and the benefits will be greater. Like and subscribe to help me grow this little channel and let's start. Photography requires you to be fully present in the moment. You must observe your surrounding, you must focus on framing the shot and adjust the camera settings. This mindfulness practice can divert your attention away from stressors, providing a mental break. Technical advice, don't use automatic modes, go fully manual and be in charge. Experiment with long exposures or with freezing time, overexposing maybe, but don't let the auto mode steal your voice. Bonus tip, use one of this with one of this. Shooting film really teaches you how to slow down and to be fully absorbed in the process. Photography allows you to express yourself creatively. It gives you a way to communicate your emotions, your thoughts and your perspective without having to use words, offering an outlet for self-expression and release. This is especially important if you're a person that tends to be closed, if you keep uh, feelings and emotions to yourself and you find it difficult to express them with words. Nature photography is all about spending time outdoors, whether in a serene landscape or in a green urban jungle. Being in nature drastically reduces your stress level. It improves your mood and your overall well-being. Nature photography can be the perfect excuse for a long walk or for a hike. And very few things in the world reduce stress like physical activity outdoors. And this is directly linked to... Photography can encourage exploration and adventure. Seeking out new locations, subject or photographic challenges provides a sense of excitement and purpose. Personally, as an off-roader, I love to jump on my 1984 Land Cruiser pickup and just go out and explore, find new places and take a lot of nice pictures and videos with my car. You can check this video of my solo adventure to Salala in Oman. Here, here, I don't know where it will appear. When you engage in photography, you actively seek beauty and interesting elements in your surroundings. This act of looking for beauty can shift your focus from stressors to positive aspects of your environment. If you train your eye to find the beauty in things, you also train your beauty to find the good in people around you, and you activate a positive chain of appreciation. Capturing moments through photography helps you to create a visual record of your life's best moments. Revisiting these images will trigger positive memories, providing comfort during stressful times. Our brain can only contain a certain amount of thoughts at the same moment, and positive memories can help you to kick out the bad ones. Learning and improving photography is a truly fulfilling journey. Setting goals, overcoming challenges, and mastering new techniques can boost your self-esteem and sense of accomplishment. Learning new things and unlocking new skills will keep your brain active and young for longer. Photography can serve as a form of emotional release. Photographing difficult emotions or experiences can help you process and cope with them in a healthy way. I'm not talking about the girls that cry on TikTok for clout and likes. I'm talking about photography as an outlet to express, process and release bad emotions. It can be a personal project to express what you feel about a loss, about a breakup, about illness, about loneliness, about depression. And you can do it only for yourself because not everything must become an Instagram post. Sharing photos with others, whether on social media or in person, can foster connections and conversations. It can lead to a sense of community and support, reducing feelings of isolation and stress. In every city, there are clubs that organize photo walks. They are usually very bad and cliche. Example, here in Dubai, they always go take pictures in the old part of the city with the poor people pushing trolleys and working, people in the souk, the abras, the small cafeterias where only the laborers go. I mean, it's the festival of cliché, but it's okay because you can meet a lot of people with your same hobby and spend some good time. So, what did we learn today? 
that you can incorporate photography in your life as a stress relief tool in many ways. You can disconnect from day-to-day -day life and find new way to communicate emotions and express yourself. Personally, I'm all for the connection with nature, adventure and aesthetic appreciation. While I'm less of a social interaction or cathartic release guy. But what are the aspects that resonate more with you and you will incorporate in your life? Let me know in the comments. By the way, let me know if you like this new setup. I find it a little bit more intimate, a little bit softer. Let me know what you think and see you soon.